行開始How's it going everybody, Pig Bay here, PB for short, and today, sneaky peeky, is the tier 9 Pan-Asian Premium Battleship, the Wujing. I probably butchered that, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Now what is the Wujing? It's an Alsace, essentially. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and compare her to the Alsace. Now right off the bat, you end up getting a downgraded engine boost. It's engine boost 2 instead of 3. And you end up losing the rapid reload 2, but you gain fuel smoke 1 and 3 charges of it. Now the Wujing gets slightly more health, but the main difference here is the reload and the range. You have a 2 second better reload and about, I don't know, half a kilometer better range than the base model, but everything else is the same. Now I haven't played the Alsace since before it was buffed when I was grinding for the Republic, but I was pleasantly surprised by the Wujing. So basically you're getting an overall better DPM, but you're losing that burst fire from that rapid reload. That's the main change, but honestly it's pretty similar. Now for those that don't know about the Alsace, it comes equipped with four guns per turret, three turrets, so that's a total of 12 380 millimeter cannons. Now I didn't notice uh, the 380s, you know, being lackluster at all. But uh, I'm also, especially on this Friedrich de Gross, I'm aiming at the weaker parts of the ship. That superstructure, bow, and stern. Now the reason you guys are seeing also a ranked match besides a 7v7 is because, honestly, you guys focus me way too hard when I'm trying to test out these ships. So I was like, you know what? Let me just reduce the amount of people that can shoot at me, and I entered 5v5 ranked. But, I actually did quite well in this ship. Now, remember the ship doesn't have any gimmicks. There's no precise aim 17, no rapid reload 35, nothing like that. It's simply just a battleship through and through. Just, you know, reliable. A reliable battleship, I'll say. The dispersion is quite nice. I found myself hitting more shots than I thought I would or at least from what I thought I remembered with Alsace, but also coupled with the pen, I was actually feeling really good about it. Uh, so I kind of want to play the regular Alsace and see how I do with her, just because I did enjoy this boat so much. Um, am I saying it's better than Alsace? I don't know, that's that's hard to... It's hard to compare it, because you, you're getting a buff to DPM overall, but losing that burst like we talked about earlier. And honestly, that burst can be quite useful, especially if there's a ship that you have to kill now, like, say, Smolensk or something, that you need to get a lot of shots on target quickly. Now, on to the match. Again, ranked match. We're down a ship. But let's see if we can claw back. I got this Fletcher coming out broadside, probably trying to launch Torps on me. End up getting 7 shells out of 12. Even those semi-pens, or not semi-pens, those overpens, did enough damage. It was a couple, like full pens in there but it was enough to knock them out so that's one kill now my thought process here is i have to be broadside to someone because they got a crossfire going on so i'm going to choose the lesser of two evils and give broadside to the iowa instead of the two ships down south or the three ships down south sorry but honestly that salvo was pretty nasty on that iowa there was no citadels but 12 kilometers getting 11 shells on target i'll take it i'll take it every day and this is the nice thing about having a pretty awesome DPM increase is my shells hit. I'm already like halfway loaded to get my next salvo off. And I've just been chunking this guy, you know, every 19 seconds. I think that's when my reload's at. Yeah, it's about 19 seconds. Now down goes Iowa. That's the threat to my broadside down. But now I'm going to focus on the next threat, which is going to be to my destroyers. This Dimitri Donskoy. But also, this is actually helping myself out as well because I'm showing a narrow profile to the two battleships up north while getting all my guns to bear onto the Donskoy, increasing my chance to try to kill this guy. Now, I remember reading on Reddit that someone kind of wanted a little more educational videos, you know, kind of thought processes. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now is kind of show you guys what I am thinking. 
and boom, down goes the Donskoy. That's our third kill. I smell it. This is where I smell the Kraken. But with that threat down, now my Venom can go ahead and push into C, just sealing the deal. Unfortunately, our Care Sarge goes down. But we have a nice, comfortable lead because we've had two caps. So now I'm just going to turn out and kind of kite away. Make it harder for them to hit me. And hopefully get, you know, two more kills. That's what I'm looking for right now. Two more kills. Got to pad the stats. Now the reason why I want to get in a kite new position, it makes me... A little bit harder to hit for them but I'm also because of the gun angle still able to get all my guns to bear down on them it also there's like little intricacies to like shell flight time is reduced because they're moving towards my shells so they're moving towards the shells as the shells are moving towards them so it's I don't have to lead as much it's a little easier to aim and with that also comes it's a little easier to dodge because i'm moving away from their shells as their shells are coming for me so i have a little more time to react and such now the alsace isn't really armored to begin with so the wujing isn't much different things are going to hurt you if they catch you so minnesota can be quite scary because it does have a high alpha strike these sh those shells hurt but taking stock of the current situation, that was a chunk and a half. I'm just going to be trying to get as much damage as I can right now. Unfortunately, you know, Minnesota is just way too healthy for a minute left in the match to try to burst them down. But I'm already sitting at 115,000 damage, which if you think about it, is really, really good in a 5v5 rank. There's only five ships that I can hit. So 123,000 now in a 5v5 ranked really big damage game now the big question is she worth it i mean yes but that's going to depend how she comes out and on top of that would you be fine with the regular alsace most likely yes while a two second decrease into your main battery reload is huge having burst fire is huge too so and again, I haven't played Alsace since, you know, before the buff. But if she, again, if she's playing like this and the stats kind of show, yes, you'll be just fine. Trust me. Now on screen is my current supplies and equipment that I'm running. So that is precise aim, propulsion, and steering. Normally I would try to run surface detection, but I wanted to give this thing a little more maneuverability. But that's the match. 136,000 damage, four kills. Unfortunately, no Kraken, but still a monster game in ranked. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you can catch me streaming on Fridays at night at some point. I don't really have a time, but yeah. Until next time, everyone.